ethics questions are now swirling around Hunter Biden's newly discovered passion for art. The Biden White House has reportedly come up with an agreement that ensures that any buyers of Hunter's art are anonymous, even to Hunter. His art will go on sale in New York City this fall. And, you know, he's a first time struggling artist. So they're only expected to fetch, you know, as much as 500 thousand that's half a million dollars a piece but according to the deputy white house press secretary there's no problem the deputy white house press secretary says this quote the president has established the highest ethical standards of any administration in american history but i don't think everybody sees it that way including former president obama's ethics czar walter schaub who asked this is, the, is this amateur hour for government ethics? Good luck dealing with the fallout when a new owner of Hunter's pricey art appears in a magazine spread. In the meantime, the White House has put the, its stamp of approval on the president's son profiting off his father's public service. Again, keyword. Schaub also pointed out, quote, because we don't know who's paying for this art and we don't know for sure that Hunter Biden knows, we have no way of monitoring whether people are buying access to the White House through Hunter's art. These people are paying for Hunter Biden's last name. Joining us now, the president of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton, and Seamus Bruner of the Government Accountability Author, uh, excuse me, Institute, who's also the co-author of the book Fallout. Guys, good to see you. Hey. Good to see well, you. Well, I, I want to show you exclusively. I did snag one piece of Hunter's really good art. Uh, that's that's just a preview of what's to come. It's even signed right there, yeah. Uh, but today, Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, was asked this during the White House press secretary. And I want you to hear what she had to say. A system has been established that allows for Hunter Biden to work in his profession within reasonable safeguards. Well, I think it would be challenging for an anonymous person who we don't know and Hunter Biden doesn't know to have influence. All right. I, I want each of you one by one just to weigh in on this. First of all, I, I'm shocked that this is his profession. I mean, this guy, he's got as much as much experience as this as he did in energy before Burmisma gave him a million dollar contract. I mean, this is insane what we're dealing with. Seamus, let me start with you. Yeah, this this arrangement absolutely reeks of corruption. There, there's three points I'd like to make. What, number one, this is the exact opposite of transparency. The White House has put out this statement where it's very Clintonian in its language, the, the highest ethical standards. The Clintons said the same thing. Number two, that brings me to the Clintons. This is worse than the Clintons and their foundation. This is worse than the speech payments to Bill and Hillary because, to their credit, and I never thought I'd say that, the Clintons actually disclosed their donors, most of them. They disclosed their speech payers, and they told the time, the location, and the dollar amounts of who was paying them money. This whole arrangement is a black box. It's self-imposed. It's not at all transparent. Number three, the Bidens have, the entire family has a terrible track record with transparency, and they have straight up lied time and again on whether Bill, or I mean, excuse me, whether Joe met with Hunter's business partners, whether he talked about business deals with Hunter, and now we're learning whether he profited from Hunter's business ventures. So th right. this whole Tom, thing is is absolutely corrupt. Yeah, Tom, this literally was made for Judicial Watch. This is a racketeering operation. I mean, the family's been run like a racketeering shop for years. Is the Justice Department going to be aware of who's giving, who's giving Hunter Biden money? Allegedly, he's under investigation. This highlights in a dramatic fashion that Joe Biden, again, has been implicated in criminal activity tied to his son and other family members. There's a criminal investigation that was squelched for two years by the Justice Department and the FBI. Evidently, it's continuing. There's no special counsel targeting Joe Biden despite the obvious conflict of interest and the Justice Department rules mandating it. And now we've got the, the White House jumping in to help uh, Mr. Hunter Biden launder the money back into the family again. Is Joe Biden you know, going Lindsay to say no more? I, I'm not, I won't be taking my take as the big guy normally gets in our arrangements. I tell you, what an outrage. You know, we talk about the corruption here in Washington, D.C. Joe Biden personally has the most significant corruption issues that we've had coming into a presidency since Lyndon Johnson and the Justice Department and the rest of this decrepit city pretend it's not existing. 
You know, Lindsay, one of the things that Walter Schaub, that ethics expert that worked for Obama, said is that this industry is rife for money laundering. That's absolutely right. I mean, we've seen so many times in the past when art dealing has been involved with money laundering. So the fact that Jen Psaki comes out and says, oh, how could anonymous buyer ever have influence on Hunter or on this administration? That is absurd, is laughable, Seamus, because at the end of the day, um, Schwab points this out. Anybody who buys this, we might see it in a magazine spread. If they're that rich, they're buying half a million dollar art or more, uh, we're probably going to see it somewhere. They're going to post it somewhere. They're, they're going to want someone to know. And to say that they couldn't have influence over this administration is bogus. Well, yeah, that's, a, that's absolutely right. Hunter Biden has been in trouble with money laundering in the past. And la just last year, the U.S. Senate put out a report stating how rampant money laundering is in the art world. It's a totally subjective industry. Uh, you, you can see there was actually an $18,000 invisible sculpture that was just sold. So, I mean, you can buy virtually anything or nothing and call it art, and we're not gonna know how much Hunter Biden is being paid, and even more importantly, who is paying him. And there's no way that Hunter Biden's not gonna know who bought his art. They're, they're relying on this curator, George Burgess, to vet the donors, that that individual is right. shady. He's been accused of fraud. We're relying on that person to be ethical, right. ultimately. Right. But Tom, I wanted it, you to jump in here. I only have a little bit of time, so I got to jump in here to give Tom a say here. I found it also telling that Jen Psaki called Hunter Biden a child today. I think that that is an interesting point. They're treating this 51-year-old man like he's some little baby, um, and they need to handle him with kid gloves. Only about 30 seconds left, Tom. Yeah, well, you know, Hillary Clinton violated her ethics promises immediately related to the Clinton Foundation. What's the penalty for this child of uh, Joe Biden violating this promise? What happens if they break the rules? What happens if he finds out who pa paid him off? Nothing. This is a joke. We need the just. We need a serious independent counsel to the degree we ever can find one in this town. Certainly, if it was good enough for President Trump and there was nothing there. Uh, the fact that what, that Hunter Biden is still walking around without a special counsel and Joe Biden hasn't had one either tells you how corrupt the Garland Justice Department is. They should be investigating the White House for their intervention to help Hunter Biden here. Good Absolutely. Point. We're going to be talking more about this for sure. Tom, Seamus, thanks for being here today. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.